welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Michelle Gibbs. I am a professional artist and tutor and today I'm going to just show you a simple composition exercise that will really help you with your artwork when you get started. So let's get going. This is a uh, scene that I took when I was um, in the New Forest the other day. Um, I thought it was really nice. Uh, but what tends to happen is when you're first starting out painting, you will try and create it exactly how you see it in terms of color, layout, composition, everything. Um, but what you need to do, uh, you need to make it your own. So I am in Photoshop but you can do this on your phone quite easily. So I'm just going to go to image adjust and I'm going to turn it into black and white. Now, the reason I turn it into black and white is because I want to make the colors my own. I don't want to copy exactly from the landscape. That's not what I do. But turning it into black and white, I can instantly see that it does lack um, value contrast. And that means the lights and darks, um, it, aren't very interesting so I'm going to go back into adjust and I'm going to adjust the contrast so if we look what happens when we adjust the contrast instantly the image becomes much more interesting because there is a more of a contrast between the darks and the lights again you can play around with the brightness as well so I'm pretty happy with that I can still work from the color copy if I want to, um, but I will ultimately work from the black and white image. I might have the color image just as a little bit of a reference, but to be honest with you, I'm going to make the colors my own anyway. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, and then I'm just gonna um, click save and print that out. So now I've got my image in um, Procreate on my iPad. Um, I can see straight away that the horizon line is almost in the center. Now the rule of thirds are that we should have the horizon line either towards the top or towards the bottom, but never in the center because it cuts the picture in half. So I could do two things. I could get my image and I could move it so that I've got more of the landscape um, so I'll just lift it up or I can move it down so that I've got more of the sky. But because there's not really a lot going on in the sky, I'm actually going to move the horizon line up. I think there's more interest in the actual landscape itself. So just pulling the image up um, gives me a, a better uh, chance to sort of have a look at it again like I say you can do this with pen and paper you don't have to do it um, in a in a procreate so putting the horizon line in I'm just going to mark out some of the basic shapes at this stage don't get too technical with detail we're really just mapping out the composition this is going to really help us to work out if it's a successful composition or if we need to move things around. So what I'm doing is I'm just outlining the detail um, in masses, in shapes, not in detail. So just by outlining everything, I can get a better idea of whether the composition is any good or not. So this line here creates a little bit of interest um, and it sort of mimics the trees in the background a little bit but I, again I will probably edit that slightly. So this would be just our mass area in the foreground um, and I'm just going to block that in just so that I've got an idea of what that looks like. Again just you can either do this with charcoal, with paint or with brushes, just mass it out so that you can see it a little bit clearer. I can do now is I can just take away the actual photo and I'm left with my rough sketch. So this really gives me a good indication as to whether or not the, the composition is successful. So this is a really good tip just to get started. Planning is so important when you're painting. It saves it can save you quite a lot of time. Um, often you know people jump straight in 
painting and then you have to figure all these things out at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to lift the uh, horizon line up a little bit more because I feel like some of the shapes were just a bit too similar and I am just going to pull everything up just to make it a little bit more interesting so we've got a bit more of the, the foreground. Just quickly block that in. This is why programs like this are quite great because you can just sort of move things around um you know anything like photoshop procreate i'm sure there's lots of free versions as well so that looks much more interesting it was it was a little bit too samey with the sky the the um, middle ground and the foreground so now i've got a better indication of how i want it to look so again, I can just add a few more of those reflections just to get a little bit of idea because those reflections again create uh, the shape in the water a little bit better. So I can just get more of an idea. But again, I'm not going into detail. I'm not going into anything, um, you know, the birds or anything like that. So I hope that gave you an overview on how you can change your images ready for when you're painting just to make things a lot easier. If you'd like more tips and tricks on how to paint in acrylic then please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel.